Hello guys, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Charles Chinoso and in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to create a logo, a professional looking logo. Whether you are looking to start a business or you already have a business and you want to get a logo for yourself, this video will help you create a logo. After watching this video, you will get to learn how to create a professional looking logo for your business. Hope you are excited, so ensure to stay tuned to the end of this video. Alright, so for you to create a logo for yourself, the very first step you have to take is for you to download Canva and create an account on Canva. So right here, I'm already on Canva on my home screen. So just go to your Play Store and download Canva from Play Store. Then you sign up using your Gmail, okay? So once you're done signing up, then you'll be welcome with this interface. So this is where we'll be creating our logo. And the thing about Canva is Canva is a very easy to use application. Provincial, you have zero experience on how to use Canva. I already made a previous video on how to use Canva, so you can just check the description of this video to see how you can uh, explore more features on Canva, okay? But then, for the sake of this video, I'll try my best to make it as simple as possible. Every detail you need to know, every feature on the platform that will help you create a great looking logo for your business. So for you to create a logo for your business, you have to like select a template. On Canva, there are so many templates on Canva. As you can see right here, we have the YouTube thumbnail templates, we have social media templates, photo editor, and everything. Can you see? Doc, whiteboard, websites, and more. So what you want to do, you want to search for a template that looks like a logo. So for you to do that, just simply go to the search templates section, then you search for logo. So over here, I'll search for logo. Then they'll bring up several logo templates for me. Can you see the very first one says create a blank logo? Then we have others right here. Can you see? I see all the logos you are seeing right here. So what you do is just go through all these logos, then get to select the one that align with your brand, the one that fits your brand. Do you understand? But for you to get something more personal, there's a way to go about that. Whatever you are into, just add it to the search query. So let's assume you're a fashion designer or you're an hair stylist, just go to the search query and search a uh, beauty logo so it means you're a beautician beauty logo so it will bring up several logos that are in that uh, industry i see in right now so this is like a simple way to, to go about it whatever you are into just search for something related to your brand then it will bring out more personalized logo for you to just choose and edit all right so for the sake of this tutorial and for us to get a better understanding on how canva works i'll be creating a logo from the scratch from the scratch so that being said i'll have to go and select create a blank logo so once i click on that then it will load up a blank page for me which i'll have to start everything from the scratch so for you to create a logo from the scratch there are several ways you can go about that and i'll be showing you some of those ways in this tutorial so right now our template has loaded sorry our blank template has loaded so they still gave you an option in case you want to choose a template from canva actually if you want the easy way just go ahead and choose a template but if you want to actually learn how these things are done then we have to proceed with the blank template do you understand so i'll just go back so as to be on the blank templates so right here for you to create a logo just go ahead and select an element so once you select an element then you choose any element you like to add to your logo so let's assume i'm creating a logo for a fashion brand i'll just choose this first element so once i add this then i'll try to change the color to a desired color so for you to change the color just tap on the element you added then you see color down here can you see after shape we have edit and we have color so i'll choose color then i'll go and select a color that suits a brand so i'll just choose a uh, blue as my color so now we have a blue template on our canvas so the next thing we want to do now is we want to add a test but before we do that let's try to expand this a bit so that it looks bigger so i just tap on the image then i'll expand this by dragging it out so once i drag it out then i'll take it to the center by dragging it to the center i see what i'm doing guys so right now i'll go ahead and add a test do you understand i'll add a test i'm trying to create a fashion brand so i'll just add a test by clicking on the test button down here once i click on test button so right here i could actually get to choose some test templates that is on canva can you see several of the test templates so if you like to choose any of them that works with you 
that's perfect. But if you want to create something from the scratch, you can just go with the uh, default test tie. So once I add a default test tie, then this will load up for me. So over here, I'll be adding the brand name. Let's assume my brand name is C. Charles Nigeria. So this is my brand name. So what I'll do is I'll try to click on enter so that the Nigeria will be under the C. Charles. So I'll go back and enter. Can you see? So the next thing I would like to do is I'll try to make it bold so that it looks better. So I'll just tap on the test again and all these will load up down here. So just scroll to the left and you see where we have formats, tap on formats and just tap on this particular icon. So you can see that everything is now in bold. Hope you can see that. So the next thing I'll do again is I'll try to like increase the image, I mean the blue image so that it covers the whole uh, test. So I just expand the image again. I see what I'm doing, guys. And you can also uh, reduce the size of the test. But eventually, you want the test to be smaller. So for you to reduce the size of the test, just tap on the test. Then down here, you can see we have edit font test style and font size. So I'll click on font size and I'll reduce it to like let's say 30, so that you see how everything works. Can you see now it's smaller? So because I'm trying to create a fashion logo, what I'll do is I'll try to add an element that looks like fashion. So I'll go to where we have elements. Once you go to the element section, then you search for elements that looks like fashion. Just search for fashion generally. Then to bring up several elements that looks like fashion. I see now this element. Can you see? So just click on see all and it will load up every element for you. I see everything. So let me choose something that I like. Let me just choose this particular one. I see. So I just added an element to the logo. So what I'll do is I'll drag the element to the side of the uh, name by clicking on this plus button you are seeing here. So once I drag it, then we have something like this. I see. <laughs> we are already creating something very good. Now we have C Charles Nigeria and we have an element by the side. So what I'll do next is I'll try to add a circle on the logo. So anything you are looking for, any kind of uh, image you are looking for, element is the answer for you. So right now I'll go to element and I'll search for circle so that I can create something very nice. I'll search for circle right here. Once I search for circle, can you see the several circles we have here? So I'll just look for something that fits what I want. I see all this. So I'll just choose this one. Once I add it to my elements, I see the effect we're having now. So I'll just try to drag the circle to make it bigger by dragging it out. I see, then I'll align it to the center. So now we have C. Charles Nigeria and we have these fashion elements by the side. So the next thing is I'll try to align everything so that they all be on the same page. So I'll select this first one by placing my finger on it till it brings out this thing that says select multiple then you click select multiple so once you click select multiple then go ahead and tap on other things you like to align together so i'll tap on c charles nigeria then i'll tap on the circle so you can see that three things are together now then you click on group so once you do this it means you'll be able to move everything together at the same time so see what i'm saying if i drag them you see everything is moving at the same time can you see so the next thing I'll do now is I'll try to like reduce the size so that it fits into the blue uh, shape. So I'll just reduce the size. I see guys. So this is looking very nice for a logo. So for you to create something that uh, tells your brand story, probably you want a font that is different from what you are seeing right here. You could actually change the font of the letter. I mean the font of the test. So click on the test itself. Then down here you get to see fonts. So just tap on fonts and you get to see several fonts you can use. So let's see if we can choose a different font that, that will make our tests final. So I'll just search through the fonts. Awesome. Can you see? It's looking finer than before. So you can cancel this and go back. Probably if you want to make the test bolder. So just swipe all these things down here to the left till when you see uh, formats. Then you click on formats. Then you choose bold. Can you see it's looking bolder now? 
So making the test board actually made it appear in three line. So I think the best thing we can do now is try to reduce the size of the test so that it fits in as two line. So you can see down here we have font size. So and the test is on 22. So I'll make it 20. That way it should be on two lines that way. Can you see? Awesome. So now we're having something very perfect, very, very perfect for a fashion brand. So let's just do the final touch. I'll just make the background, which is white. I'll make it another color. So I'll just choose, tap on the background. Then to bring colors for me. So I'll select color down here and I'll choose black. Can you see? <laughs> this is so, so, so nice, guys. So, so nice. And now we're having a beautiful looking logo. So this is basically how you create a logo for yourself. So just go ahead and explore every tool you're having on Canva. Just use Element to choose anything you want to add to your blank canvas. And for eventually you want it the easy way, you can go ahead and choose an existing template on the platform and just basically edit all the information that the template has to your own personal information. So let's go ahead and download the design. So I'll just click on download up here. Once I click on that, then you get to see share link, download and Gmail. So I'll tap on download. So over here, you can choose to download it as JPEG or PNG. So for me, I'll stick to JPEG and I'll click on download. So once I click on download, then the magic is already happening. So I believe you guys got value from this video. If you got value, just ensure to like this video, drop a comment and also subscribe to my channel. All right, I'm in my gallery now. Can you see this is what we just downloaded and it's looking so, so pretty, so, so fine. So I believe you got value from this video, guys. Just if you have not subscribed to my channel, you are very wrong. So just ensure you subscribe, drop a comment if you actually learned something from this tutorial. And also ensure to share this video. I'll be seeing you guys in my next tutorial. Bye, guys.